Uh, what part of your brain is responsible for you not wanting to drink alcohol anymore? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. I got a question the other day saying, what part of your brain is, um, has to do with you not wanting to drink anymore? Uh, and my answer to that is, what does it matter? You know, knowing the name or the location of the part of your brain, you know, if I said to you, well, it's the, um, the, uh, the amygdala or it's the um, frontal cortex or, you know, any other part of your brain that I know the name of, which I don't know many, um, because what's the point knowing them, you know? Uh, if you can name all the parts of your brain, what difference does it make? If you know that it's sort of here, that part of your brain, what difference does it make? It doesn't make any fucking difference. You know, to you, the only difference it makes is is in what comes out of your brain, you know? Uh, you know, even knowing your brain is inside your head is not going to make any difference, you know, because it's the thinking that... Uh, makes all the difference in the world. It's how you use your thinking. It's your beliefs. Um, it's how those beliefs are structured and how those beliefs influence you and lead you through life. That's what's important. You know, uh, you know, we all know that the liver is a major organ in terms of getting rid of the alcohol out of your body, flushing the system, uh, keeping your system in good health. Uh, and we know that it's one of the first organs in your body that's going to be attacked and destroyed. And once the liver is gone, you are gone, essentially, unless you get a transplant. But for heavy drinkers, that's highly unlikely, right? But people will continue and continue and continue to drink, even knowing that um, once you overload your liver, that there is a certain amount of damage and it's the accumulated damage over years and years and years that causes the problem, right? Which causes um, hepatitis, cirrhosis, fatty liver syndrome, whatever syndrome you want to call it. If the liver was on the outside and you could actually see the deterioration, maybe people would stop. But because it's invisible, it's on the inside, you can't see it. Same with your brain, you know, your brain I'm sure it's the same parts of your brain that keep you locked into a habit, the same parts of your brain uh, are going to help you to quit a habit. But knowing the name of that part of the brain or the location of it is not going to make any difference to you, you know. So, yeah, I haven't got a clue. I don't know which part of your brain does what. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. The only part of your anatomy that really matters and this whole thing is um, your left hand or your right hand and your mouth. Because if you don't lift the stuff up to your mouth, pour it into your mouth, uh, then you can't be a drunk. Once it goes inside your body and disappears, the effects, um, the outwardly effects of what you're getting off the alcohol are apparent. That's why we do it. But the damage effects, they're not so apparent. So. If you want to find out which part of your body is really responsible for you quitting drinking, it's your hand and your mouth. Uh, and as far as your brain is concerned, the only thing that you should be concerned about is your thinking and directing that thinking and keeping yourself uh, real. You know, take the short term pain and have the long term gain. Look, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Uh, that's it for today. Take care of yourself. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Onwards and upwards. Take care. Bye.